hello dear students so today we'll discuss about our third lecture so in that section we will discuss what is the need of operating system so these are actually two view points first is user view the operating system is designed mostly for ease of use with some attention paid to its performance in maxim in actually in mainframe or mini computer operating system is designed to maximize resource utilization to assure that all available cpu time memory or io are used efficiently in network system resources are stored in server like file server or printer printer server these resources are shared through network so in that case os is responsible for sharing of information security and usability and the second important part or second view point is system view how system can interact with the operating system with respect to system what is the utilization of operating system so from the computer point of view operating system is a program that is most in intimate with hardware and uh, we can view a uh, operating system as a resource allocator computer system has many resources hardware and software that may may be required to share a problem like cpu times memory space file storage space or io devices in operating system acts in that case operating system acts as a manager of all these resources so another view of os is that it is it is a control program control program means it controls the different execution of the other programs like when we execute something and some uh, say uh, several times we find find that the, our system hanged out means everything is in deadlock state nothing work finally so at that time we use or uh, use the uh, alt control D, del from keyboard and interrupt that particular program or particular process which actually busy which the process which actually uh, busy our system so control programs have you cleared in many operating system like windows or in any error is occurred in run time run time uh, then execution of the particular program or process will be interrupted so it shows an error message and some instruction to fix this problem now i may ask you one question the why we use use operating system what are the major goal of operating system the answer will be the primary goal of operating system is efficiency and the secondary goal or the other important part is of gui operating system is uh, convenience means easier to compute now i'll next focus on different types of operating system different in in that section we'll discuss on single user operating system mainframe system then batch processing system then multi programmed system then time sharing system and at last real time operating system so now i'll focus on single user operating system so as the term suggest single user single user means when a computer system is dedicated to a single user then we can say 
that it is a single user operating system like our personal computer many people can use that computer system but one at a time its major advantages are user directly interact with the program that is interactiveness then easy to use that particular gui graphical user in interface that is is convenience and it is secure that is responsiveness and the major disadvantages are when multiple user wants to interact with the system it cannot support that's why we use multi user operating system the present day operating system are multi user operating system and the example of single user operating system is dos disk operating system now i will focus on mainframe system the mainframe computers or the mainframe systems are such type of computers which is used uh, primarily by large organization for critical applications bulk data processing such as sensors or share market data industry oriented data and customer statistics oriented or erp oriented means enterprise resource planning oriented and transaction oriented data this is a figure which is ibm system ibm mainframe system then what are the different characteristics actually proposed by this mainframe system the modern mainframe system can can run multiple different instances of operating system at the same time this technique of actually virtual machines allow applications to run as if they were on physical distinct computers in that in this role a single mainframe can replace higher functioning hardware service available to a conventional server and the basic difference between mainframe with the supercomputer is the supercomputer is a computer at that a leading edge of data processing capability with respect to calculation speed and supercomputer are used for scientific and engineering problems like high performance computing uh, while mainframe is majorly focused on transactional processing now i'll focus on the next part or next type of system that is batch processing system it is in early days computers they are used input devices such as card reader tape drivers and output devices such as, such as line printers etc the user did not directly interact with the computer system user prepared a job which consist of programs data and control information and it is submitted to the computer operator and after some times maybe minutes hour or days later the output will appear the operating system of these early days computers were was uh, actually fairly simple its major task was transfer control from one job to the next job the operating system is also uh, re resident in memory to speed up processing operators batch job together with similar needs and return them to the computer as a group this uh, programmers uh, in that case programmers leave their programs with the operator the operator would sort the entire programs into different batches based on their category with similar requirements the output of each job is sent back to the appropriate programmer maybe a long time later so in this execution in in this execute execu execution environment the cpu is often set idle it is a fairly early days computer actually used this type of concept and uh, say this is the logical diagram of batch processing system where user prepared a job that job is actually having three major part programs data and control information and it submits the job to the computer operator and after some times that times may be minutes hours or days 
the output will appear so it is a, like example like when i submit some first of all the entire job, job when i prepared i classify the job based on their needs say there is a jumble of different types of program together c c++ algol python all these programs are jumbled together then i batches the similar types of jobs like c programs are batched in batch 1 say pythons are in batch 2 all these different types of category are batches and i submit the job to the operator say uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and i heard from the system controller that all the outputs of the job will appear at 10 o'clock at night so i visit at at that uh, particular section and uh, if i found any error in my program then i have to fix the error and resubmit it and wait for re-execution so it is actually not uh, efficient in terms of time as well as it is its performance is very low means low efficiency and very time consuming concept previously it is used by major big companies to uh, wants to print their employees pay sleep and all these things so in the next section i will discuss time sharing or multitasking system and real time operating system okay thank you